y'all, my name is Valerie, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you three delicious casserole recipes. I just love casseroles, and hopefully this will give you some new easy dinner ideas that you and your family are going to love. Now let's go ahead and get started. This first recipe is a chicken pot pie bubble up casserole. To start, you'll need about two cups of cooked shredded chicken. So I shredded up about half of a rotisserie chicken. Now in a separate bowl, I'm adding one can of cream of chicken soup, along with one cup of sour cream. And for the seasonings, I added one teaspoon of garlic powder and about half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm adding in a 10 ounce bag of the frozen steamable mixed vegetables. And I did microwave those for about four minutes just so they weren't frozen solid. This wasn't in the recipe, but I decided to also add in a can of drained green beans just to add a little more veggies in there. Give that a really good stir. And now for the bubble up part. The recipe calls for two of the six ounce cans of refrigerated biscuits but I couldn't find the six ounce cans, but I did have a 12 ounce can of crescent rolls, so I decided to just make those work. I left them rolled up and I cut them in slices about the size of regular biscuits, and then I cut each biscuit piece into about six or seven small pieces. I like to cut them small just to make sure those biscuits get completely cooked through. Now gently toss or mix everything together. Now I'm adding in the two cups of the shredded rotisserie chicken. Mix that one last time to make sure everything is very well incorporated. I've got a nine by 13 inch baking dish and I've sprayed it with nonstick spray. Now I'm pouring in that mixture. Spread this out evenly. Now this is optional, but I'm topping it with about a cup of shredded cheese. You really can't make a casserole without adding cheese. <laughs> Am I right? Now this bakes uncovered at 350 for 35 to 45 minutes. Just make sure those biscuit pieces are cooked through. This was so easy to make and is perfect for those busy weeknights. And this is definitely a delicious comfort food type of meal. My family really loves this one. This next one is one of my favorites. It's a Mexican casserole. I'm starting out on the stove top in a large skillet. I added one pound of lean ground beef along with half of a diced onion. Break that up and cook it until that ground beef is cooked through. When that's done, I use a paper towel to get rid of that grease. Now add in one packet of taco seasoning, one can of corn drained, a can of drained and rinsed pinto beans, a can of Rotel, and I did not drain this one. Now I'm adding a can of the red enchilada sauce, and eight ounces of the Velveeta melting cheese. And I just cubed that up so it would melt better. Now stir that up and cook it on low until that cheese melts. Now it's time to assemble this casserole. I've got a nine by 13 inch baking dish that I've sprayed with nonstick spray. I just put in two small spoonfuls of that mixture before I put down the corn tortillas. I cut them in half so I could layer them in there better. I used four per layer, so you'll end up needing a total of 12 corn tortillas. Then I topped that with a third of that meat mixture, spread it out evenly. Now I'm adding on the second layer of corn tortillas and another third of that mixture. And you can also use the flour tortillas if you prefer those better. Okay, now I'm doing the third and final layers 
and I'm ending with the meat mixture. Now I'm pressing those corners down to make sure those tortillas get pressed into that mixture better just so they don't dry out. And I'm topping everything with about a cup of shredded cheese. I covered this with foil. I sprayed the underside of that foil with some nonstick spray just so that cheese wouldn't stick. And I let this bake at 350 for 35 minutes. Then I took it out of the oven, removed the foil, then added on about another cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Then I put it back into the oven on broil for just a couple minutes, just to get that top golden brown. This is one of my family's favorite meals. Now this is a TikTok recipe. It's a cheesy chicken and broccoli casserole. I started out by microwaving two of the 12 ounce bags of broccoli florets. Now in a large skillet, I added a tablespoon of oil and about a pound and a half of chicken that I cut into bite sized pieces. And while that chicken's cooking, over to a separate pot, I boiled up a 12 ounce bag of egg noodles. And I really had to just wing it with this recipe. I seen the video for it from the Al Dente Diva. I'll try to remember to link her video below, but I couldn't find the written recipe anywhere. Okay, back to the chicken. I cooked it until it was cooked through. And I did not see this in the recipe, but I added in about a teaspoon of minced garlic. Let that cook for about another minute, then remove that from the heat. Now in a nine by 13 inch baking dish, I'm adding in a family size, a 26 ounce can of cream of mushroom soup. Now add in some sour cream. And in the video, it looked like she did one big old scoop. So I did about a half a cup. And she specifically said a lot of cheese. So I did about two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I also added in about a third of a cup of milk. I stirred that up, then added in that cooked chicken. Now here's where it gets funny. I added in that steamed broccoli and either I added in too much of something or I should have mixed this in a bigger bowl first. That casserole dish was getting full and I still had to add in those noodles. First, I added in just about two thirds of those and gently mix all that together. I could have just left it at that and just added in eight ounces of the noodles, but I had to add in the rest and somehow I made it all fit. Now I'm topping this with about another cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I tried to do everything like I seen in the video. Then she covered hers, so I'm doing the same. And I wasn't 100% sure about the baking time so I ended up baking this at 350 for about 30 minutes. I think next time, instead of 12 ounces of noodles, I'll only use eight. But other than that, overall, this dinner was absolutely delicious. I will definitely be making it again. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and click into this playlist right here. And don't forget to subscribe down below. It's completely free. That way you don't miss out on any future videos and I will see you in the next one.